Bring two minutes to the gentleman from Tennessee, the chairman of the Science Committee, Mr. Gordon. The gentleman uh, thank, from Tennessee is recognized for two and a half minutes. I thank my friend uh, from California. You know, I recognize that the health care discussion is personally felt by a lot of folks, that we're getting into an emotional point here, and that there is a lot of passion. But we also need to stick with the facts. I was a little shocked earlier to hear uh, that there was an insinuation by a colleague of mine uh, from Utah that I have worked together on legislation, and we're trying to keep uh, radioactive waste from other countries out of Utah. Um, and I just want to set the record straight in that there was an insinuation uh, that I had used the word traded my vote or potentially traded my vote for the directorship of NASA. Let me make it very clear. We have an outstanding director of NASA right now in Charlie Bolden. Um, if he were to leave, though, if it was offered to me, I would not accept. So please understand that. My wife has said 26 years of public service is enough. And so I yield to my friend from Utah. I have nothing to say. Thanks. Well, well then I would ask my, U my friend from Utah, where would he get that type of, of misinformation? I yield back to my friend from Utah to explain why he said what he did and where he got that misinformation. I think it's important that we pay attention to those types of things. This is, a, it, no doubt, an emotional, uh, deep debate. It's uh, And once again, I yield to my friend as to explain said, where he got that, inf that misinformation. As I said, it's something that we should be aware of. It's something that we should pay attention to. I think that's fair, and uh, we'll, we'll pay attention to it. So I appreciate your comments and uh, the direction that you're going. You've had a great and distinguished career. We applaud you for that. Um, I appreciate your service in this Congress, uh, the work uh, that we've done together, but I, I think it's fair that we pay attention to what might or might not be happening. So well, let me say this to my friend from Utah. If I say to you, person to person, right here on this floor, the that, that, was time not, has that that offer was never made and that I was not accept, would not accept it, would you accept the that as true? The gentleman's time has expired. The I ask unanimous time. consent to allow the gentleman from Utah to have whatever time he, as he might to respond to that very fair question. I have no doubt. To, I have no reason to doubt to doubt your Members. word.